Hey guys, welcome back to the Porsche Cave. Welcome back to the Porsche Network. And in this video, I'm gonna show you 15 things that you should do with your new or used Porsche as soon as you buy it. And we're starting right now. Welcome back to the channel guys, thanks for tuning in. Buying a new or used Porsche is a very, very exciting time. I myself picked up a 991 Targa GTS about six weeks ago and I really, really love this car. And in the past, I've probably had about 10 Porsches in my, my lifetime. So I think with that information that I've gained over those years, I may be in a good position to sort of put this information onto some of you guys. And we've got a lot to get through, so we're gonna get straight into number one. Now the first few items on the list aren't that exciting, but they are quite essential. So we'll try and hurry through those as quick as possible and then we'll get on to the more exciting stuff. The first thing I'd recommend you do is walk around the car, get up close and personal with it, look for any blemishes or dents or scratches on the car that you may not have saw in the dealership or when you first bought the car. I was convinced that when I bought this car, I went through it very, very closely, but when I got it back to the Porsche cave, I did notice a nick on here and a nick on the front bumper as well. Now number two is join the Porsche Club. Joining the Porsche Club gives you lots of benefits including 10% off parts, you'll get a monthly magazine and the opportunity to meet like-minded enthusiasts and go to events that maybe other car clubs wouldn't be able to give you access to. You do workshop mornings where you go to the local Porsche Centre, they have uh, certified technicians which will look over your car for you and give you a good idea of the condition of your car. So tip number three is to fill the car with premium fuel. In the UK we're looking at 98 or 99 Ron. The numbers will differ depending on where you are in the world. It's impossible for you to know unless you've bought the car of somebody that you know what kind of life your car has led. Has it been running on premium fuel or just the bog standard fuel that you get at a supermarket pump? So fill it with premium fuel, your car will thank you for it. You'll get the most out of the engine and the most out of the car. Number four is getting to know your fluid top up locations. Depending on the car you'll have, they'll be in different locations. But in this car here, we have to lift up the target roof to get access to the oil and the coolant. On the front of this car, the yellow cap there is the brake fluid and this is the washer jet fluid. If you're in doubt though, the manual will give you all of your top up locations. Number five is get yourself a scan tool for these cars. These cars are full of electronic systems and to diagnose and reset those systems, you will need a scan tool. They'll also give you a good indication of the health of the vehicle. So it'll run through all of your main systems like engines, airbags, ABS, transmission. And there are two different versions, really depending on what kind of era car you have. I would say anything 997 backwards, I would say go for the version 1.0. Anything 991 onwards, I would say go for the version two. So generally talking about 12, 20, 12, 2011, 2012 onwards, go for the version two. Um, anything before that, go for the version one. But I will put the links to these kits in the description below this video. Next up is connecting your phone to your Bluetooth in your car if it has it. It's very simple to do. All you do is search for the Porsche PCM on your phone, then the PCM will connect to your phone. It will send a link to your phone or a, a passcode, should I say. And once you put the correct passcode in on your phone, it will connect to the system. And it basically allows you to make safe calls on the go. And of course, listen to your iTunes and your music on the go as well. So if you bought your car from a dealer or a trader, the chances are you're probably covered on this one. But if you bought your car privately, the chances are you may well be buying somebody else's problem. So I would highly, highly recommend getting some sort of warranty which covers you. Yes, you may have to pay a monthly fee on that. Well, you will have to. But for peace of mind, knowing that at least if something goes wrong, you will be covered with the warranty. So that is one thing I would certainly, certainly look at. Unless you're handy with the tools and you know your way around these cars, then you know it's entirely up to yourself, but it's a good uh, insurance policy in case something goes wrong. So if you're buying a Porsche or you're thinking about buying a Porsche, then obviously what I would recommend doing is subscribing to this YouTube channel. It has lots of hints, tips, reviews, and guides. And honestly, one of these days I will make a good video, but there is lots of videos and resources on there where you may just find something that may well help you somewhere along the line. So subscribe to this channel and also hit me up on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram because I do daily Porsche feeds on there as well. Now let's focus on some of the interesting things that you can do with your Porsche. One of the very first things I would say book and try and do is a track day with these cars. 
You're never going to get the most out of these cars if you're just driving them on the A or B roads in this country, or any country really. What you really need to do is take it to a safe environment where you can absolutely get the max out of these cars, and that is obviously doing it at a track day. Now, if you're part of the Porsche Club, certainly in the UK, but I guess they will do it all over the world, you can go to Porsche dedicated track days, which means that only Porsches are on track that day. One thing I would also say along with that is it's not, it's, it's, it's not about having the best car, the quickest car, it's about how you drive. So instruct, instructor training is certainly something that I'd recommend if you are going along to one of these events for, uh, for the first time, or indeed you haven't been for a while, you may be a little bit rusty, certainly look into instructor training. But track days, the, one of the best ways to get the most out of these cars. Now this one is probably not for the purists, but next on the list is modify your car. It doesn't have to be something so severe and something over the top, it can be something simple, like changing the wheels, changing the suspension, changing the bumpers, putting an exhaust modification on. In fact, those are three of the, um, the most popular Porsche mods, wheels, suspension, and exhaust. Not difficult to do, not necessarily gonna break the bank, but it can completely transform the way your car looks. I personally have lowered all of my Porsches, except for this one, actually. Uh, I've, I've made sure I've either changed the exhaust or got the, sp uh, the sports exhaust on the car, and also the suspension as well, and the wheels as well. So there's a lot of things you can do. I've only just touched the surface there, but go on the forums, go on their Facebook pages, and there are lots and lots of modifications you can do to these cars. I guarantee you'll have a lot of fun if that's something that you might be into. Next up is showing your Porsche or taking it to a show. In the summer months, you literally will not know which way to turn. There are Porsche meets every other weekend, in fact, probably every weekend, in various locations up and down the country. So with about a £10 entry fee, you can get into these shows, you can get ideas on other Porsches, speak to like-minded enthusiasts, and also get feedback from them about your particular car. But it's a really good way to spend a day in a field just, you know, gazing at the other Porsches and you'll generally find that there's lots of other entertainment going on for the kids or the family if you wanted to take them as well. I've never had this car on a show yet but I've had my green 996 in, my yellow 997 in, my white 991 in and I think that's it. Oh my, my Boxster that I gave away as well, the silver Porsche 986 Boxster. Next up, take your Porsche on an adventure. Don't just drive it like you stole it. You know, enjoy it with your friends, your family, your partner. You can take it away to the lakes for the weekend. They're so versatile, these cars, and they probably have more storage space than you think. But not only that, providing you've got a coupe car, you can put roof bars on, so you could then put something like a roof box on, a canoe on, a paddleboard. And even if you've got a box that all came in, you've got storage in the front and in the back. So you've probably got more storage than you think, but these are great cars to go canyon carving in the lakes, in the mountains, have yourself an adventure. There'll be memories that last with you forever. Now, one of the things that I love about my Porsches is that I like other people to get enjoyment from them as well. It's not just about me driving the cars and me getting something out of it. So I think taking kids to a prom would be a great idea in these cars. Not necessarily kids that you don't know. It helps if you know the family members, but the chances are you've got a family member or friend who has a kid at prom age. Um, just maybe maybe ask them, do they want to go in the Porsche? I'm fairly sure any 15, 16, 17 year old, year old would probably jump at the chance to be delivered to their prom in a car like this. Unless of course they know people with Ferraris or Rolls Royces or Bugattis or Lamborghinis or... And last but not least is maybe just have a little bit of fun setting up a, a social media page, maybe set up an Instagram page or a YouTube channel, make videos on your car, maybe some other people can take inspiration from what you're doing, or maybe you can show people the progress that you're doing with your car from point A to point B, what you, what you hope to achieve with the car or why you've bought the car. You know, there are lots of different uh, angles you can come up with these social media pages. Uh, for this channel exactly, you know, it's TPN TV and um, it's all about sort of helping the Porsche community with buying a cars, hints, tips, reviews, and guys when buying the cars. And the Instagram is there daily as well, just giving a little bit of inspiration to any Porsche enthusiast or anybody who wants to see Porsches on a daily basis. Guys, if you have taken something from this video, which may well help you in your Porsche ownership, really, really appreciate if you can hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button if you want to see more Porsche content, more Porsche hints, tips, reviews, and guides, or maybe you just want to see more on this beautiful Porsche 991 Target GDS. Either way, hit that subscribe 
subscribe button. I'd love to uh, see that subscriber count go up and up and up. Uh, as long as there is an audience there, we'll continue making these videos. The same goes for the Instagram as well. Uh, just past 10,000 uh, followers on Instagram actually, so I'm really pleased about that. So it's all down to you guys as well. So I can't thank you enough. Anything else? Probably a lot that I've missed out, but I will be getting through a lot of, uh, a lot of content over the next few weeks and months on this channel. So that's it from me in the Porsche cave, and I uh, hope to see you on the next Porsche Network video. See you soon.